Welcome to the Elam Games Design and Development Open Day. We offer an industry-driven games course teaching games design, games art, and of course, games programming. First year runs very much like an indie game bootcamp. You'll make four games of the course of the year, starting with Endless Runner. Endless Runner is also a solo project. You will learn how to create everything from the menu screens to the desk screens, from character animations to programming, simple jump mechanics, or even enemy fight mechanics. The second project is a 3D platformer. Again, this is a solo project, so you're learning how to create everything yourself. The reason for this is that when you specialize later on, you'll have a really, really good understanding of how to communicate to other people in your team as you've had the same kind of trials and tribulations, you've done the same sort of problem solving, whether or not you're doing programming or art. So all of our trainees create the menus, they program the interface, they're programming 3D, and of course, they're learning how to generate art in 3D for this game as well. The next projects are Interactive Emotion and Game Beyond Entertainment. These are two team projects, so trainees are able to specialize a little bit more choosing to specialize in games art or games programming or perhaps even sound design. In Interactive Emotion, trainees are taught how to control the player's emotional experience and their tasks with creating a game based off a poem. In Games Beyond Entertainment, this is based off the new BAFTA award that aims to award game studios that have really, really thought about the message behind their games. Games that are created that are more than merely just shooting zombies and shooting things. These are games with a social justice message behind them or a message about the current world crisis. We aim to empower trainees using games as a vessel for the message that they want to tell. Year two is more about becoming an industry specialist. This is where we really aim to hone the trainees skills very, very specifically and for their skills to become what we call more T-shaped really leaning towards whatever strength they might have, whether it might be a character animator, a programmer, a visual effects artist, an uh, environment artist, a character artist, or of course, a games designer. This allows trainees to acquire much more advanced skills on very specific career choices. They're able to research into the many different games options and games careers, and they're given some advice before starting this project. In their professional portfolio project, those trainees are expected to produce a showreel and an online portfolio, documenting everything that they've created and getting that ready for their university or job interviews in the future. The focus here is really getting them to an industry standard and getting it to a high enough level that they're able to work alongside their industry counterparts. Now to ensure this, we give our trainees an industry portfolio review this is where one of our entity partnerships, such as Creative Assembly, will come in and review their portfolio, giving them advice as if they were applying for a job, such as character artist, environment artist, or a programmer. This kind of professional feedback is really key to ensuring that trainees leave here with the showreel and portfolio ready and online, confident that it shows the skills and abilities they need to succeed. Industry set brief is exactly what it says on the tin. It is a brief set by one of our industry partners that mimics the world of work. It might be something very, very specific, or it might be to create a game that serves a very specific purpose. This allows trainees to really understand what kind of work they're gonna come across in the future, whether or not they're freelancing or working in a small company um, of two to 10 people, or even a big company such as 300, like at Creative Assembly. Once complete, the pieces of work will be reviewed and fed back from our industry partners, allowing our trainees to again really strive to reach that industry practice and industry ready quality that we're always aiming to achieve. Throughout this process, our trainees are learning soft skills such as communication, organization and networking and adding to their network by meeting mentors that they can carry on talking to and communicating with in the future. Our industry partnerships and work experience are fundamental to the games course. Here we see a tour of Sports Interactive, just down the road from us in Stratford, one of the biggest and longest running 
games companies in the UK. They've been producing Football Manager, which sells millions of copies every single year. We're lucky to have CEO of Sports Interactive, Miles Jacobson, on our board of governors, helping us produce more industry partnerships and guide our course for the future of the games industry. Sports Interactive offer our games trainees feedback, games jams, and the chance for studio tour. They also offer work experience, but enough from me. Time to listen to Mafio, one of our trainees who went for work experience at Sports Interactive. We're at Sports Interactive at Here East, Stratford. Um, my name is Mafio. This week I've been working predominantly with Matt, um, who is the COO of Sports Interactive, the Chief Operating Officer. Um, this week I've been looking into how the company markets the game. Um, me and Matt had a conversation about um, how a lot of kind of companies are moving towards subscription-based services, and so how can um, Sports Interactive as a company come away from the myopic structure that they have at the moment and kind of move into developing something that would be able to stand the test of time. Um, I've also been um, looking at their, their um, recruitment model and I got to redesign their kind of recruiting portfolio for the next year to come. The second large partnership I'd like to introduce is Creative Assembly. Creative Assembly is a BAFTA award-winning game studio, one of the largest in the UK, hiring over 300 people across their studios. They're based in Horsham and are responsible for creating the Total War series that again sells millions of copies every year, as well as Halo Infinite and Alien Isolation. Creative Assembly have been able to offer lots of really advanced masterclasses covering a really wide range of disciplines within the games industry. They've also been able to give games jams where students have been able to travel over to Horsham and visit the game studios themselves. Both of our industry partners have offered our trainees exclusive scholarships to go on to university and then have work experience at their studios over summer and over Christmas and when they finish university. It's this kind of industry partnership that allows our trainees to be inspired and guided to create the immense and impressive industry standard examples of work like you see on screen right now. I hope you're just as excited to create new worlds and experiences as we are. If you have any questions about the course, please feel free to get in touch. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed watching our fantastic student work.